Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. This is Lario. Uh, I just hope that everybody's safe amidst this COVID-19 going around. Here in the city of New York, we got hit pretty hard, but luckily I never came down with it. Neither did my wife, which she's standing as my assistant this morning. Uh, this is an update for the alternator job that I did on this car, which I ended up finding that the harmonic balancer was damaged and it wasn't pulling on, on the pulleys correctly or the belts, better said. Uh, being that said, I ended up putting, you know, I ended up installing the, the, the new alternator into her after getting the new harmonic balancer. Then I ended up switching it back out. I put the factory one back in, the factory alternator that is, and voila, yesterday, see here like the way I was determining you see the little battery indicator then also the brake light is on too now I, this one just came on as I was driving looking for a good location I think this is cylinder 5 that's misfiring which I got to look into that but the alternator is dead I recharged the battery uh, last night so this way I could get the you know some voltage out of it and move it around but now I got to put back the new alternator which uh, you know like I said before I was predicting that that the uh, uh, the factory alternator was gonna go bad and it eventually did but um, I already started out with the work let's go outside for a minute now my car has gone through several changes as you can see here, the black panel, new headlights, black bumper, another new headlight. Now, if you can see clearly, that's the factory alternator, which I, I do have the, uh, the new one. I do have it. So I'm going to end up switching it back out. I did check out, check the fuses that was in here. There's one fuse that's, that's actually, I even had to disconnect my amps just to make sure. This fuse is fine. The other one that's in here, let's see if I can get this thing off, which is this one, as you can see in the corner. That's that one is also fine. So I was also looking for inline fuses. I couldn't find any. If you guys have any ideas of where it might be, please hit me up. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be in, I'm gonna end up switching, uh, removing that alternator, which I already started. Car is already jacked up. We got one and well during the uh, the pandemic the car was more parked than drive because really where are you gonna go to there's really nowhere to buy um, she got hit twice while in park as you can see it's black panels she ended up getting hit really hard this whole side with the light ended up totally smashed this the door as you can see but i'm gonna end up painting that myself anyway i did buy some paint but like like new york city you, you don't if you don't have a garage there's very little you could do so i'm gonna get this thing started i'll get back to you in a minute okay Wait a minute, wait a minute. Didn't I do this before? Then I install this alternator. Oh, now I remember. There seems to be a problem with uh, the new alternator. And um, I believe it might be the voltage regulator, which is not, uh, is not working properly. Uh, but I'm gonna continue on with this video just for the sake of it and um, and then in the end, I'm gonna to provide you a quick update concerning that same alternator that came from Ace Alternators in California. So let's get back to the video. Okay, the, um, finally I got the, uh, the alternator installed. 
take me about an hour and a half more or less because the engine is, is it was still hot and it still is so we're gonna do a trial right now turn around hi guys un momento pausa okay he's standing at 12.5 Hey, we got life. Let her control the idle. It takes a little while for the There it is. 14 volts. So now for the immediate update, uh, the problem with that voltage regulator was that uh, once it was running, uh, you know the alternator itself um, it was running fine now once I would go into like a half hour drive uh, the, the alternator would just fluctuates voltages like for example you'll see it that will be running at 13.9 all of a sudden even though I will have accessories on like AC um, wipers lights voltage would drop all the way down to 11.9 but yet it's still charging no light no light indicator will come on but yeah the, to make a long story short I removed it I ended up buying a stock alternator the stock one which came from Mitsubishi and that one is working flawlessly now the new alternator which came from Ace I try to get in contact with them they did answer me back you know the alternator was sitting back in my house for a whole year a whole year that I did not use it I did not complain to them about it and the warranty expired uh, they made it look like they were gonna help out in in actually replacing it but then they it's obviously that they changed their mind because of the warranty and uh, and they didn't replace it so I'm stuck with an alternator with a bad voltage regulator now I'm, I'm not gonna send that back you want to know why because it's a high output that means that the coil windings is priceless remember that the coil winding not the not the voltage regulator the voltage regulator you could replace but it's a coil winding all right um, let me get back to the video real quick 14 volts so we're back to life people Still got the SRS, which that I got to work on. Uh, supposedly the SRS, I have to take it down to a um, to the dealership, so this way they could remove it and see why. But more or less, I already know what's what's that all about. It has to do with the passenger seat, not the drivers. But yeah, voltage is back up. It's charging nicely, smooth idle. Okay, thank you for coming back to my channel. Uh, soon I'll be having some more videos up. Um, I did extra work on the car uh, concerning the, um, which it was like nearly impossible for myself, just by myself, but I ended up doing it. I replaced all four engine mounts on the engine. Yes, by myself. And uh, also I did the lower control arms, both sides, drivers and passengers. So if you want to have a uh, want me to do a video on that, um, you know, please let me know that you know down below. Just let me know, and I'll do a quick uh, a quick tour of the of uh, the removal and then installation of the parts. Uh, also, there's um, I ended up resolving one problem concerning the uh, a, lar a loud creak that this car would have on the driver's side. Which, from what I heard and seen on, on YouTube, a lot of uh, YouTubers were going, you know, not, not a lot of YouTubers, but those that do have these six-cylinder Mitsubishis were going through the same thing. You put it in reverse, and or you put it in drive, and you get a large, you know, a real loud creak out of the driver's side. And I already found the problem for that. 
so just hit me up uh, people hit me up I'm glad to be back uh, yeah here we go again here we go again uh, we're gonna be hitting the road I gotta put back the front wheel back on and uh, the splash guard that's underneath also I gotta put that back but uh, yeah we're gonna be back on the road shortly then thank you for for coming back to my channel please do subscribe uh, if you have any comments or any questions please feel free and you know trust me I will get to you I will get to you all right thanks a lot people enjoy the day uh, yeah it's gonna be a nice day all right, I'm out of here. I'm out. I'm out.